Mate, I've still got plenty left in the tank, so uh, he knows I'll be on his toes. You know what, guys? You've been brilliant. The both of you have been very, very good competitors. Good luck to the pair of you. We'll catch you up at the finish line. All the best, huh? Gavin, you will go on my first whistle. Kevin, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Off goes Gavin, man. Or, or does he? What's happened here? He's standing still. He's supposed to be in the lead at this point. Is it the knee injury? There's the second whistle. That's for Kevin. And something's gone terribly wrong. He's gone in the water. He's getting on with it. He can't even uh, think about his rival now. But something's happened with Gavin here. He's just staying on the platform as Kevin clambers up the cargo net. Confused as all of us, he glances back to see Gavin apparently in tears. And his supporters are devastated here. Oh, what a tragedy. After 16 years waiting for this moment, it's almost too painful to watch. He is devastated. And so are they. Meanwhile, Kevin pushes on. It must be quite difficult for him, remember. He would have expected his rival to be close by here. He's got to go without the motivation of his competitor right behind him. This is the first time in Gladiator's history we've ever seen anything like this. Kevin goes alone. Gavin has had to give up without even starting. But just look at Kevin on the handbike. He's really proving himself a terrific competitor here. And even if Gavin had been in his way, he would have struggled to keep with this guy. It's a terrific effort, and the crowd are really recognizing that. He's a tough competitor. But now he can afford to simply jog down the ramp, knowing that his rival is beaten. And poor old Gavin is having trouble keeping his emotions in check here. And so are his family. It must be agony for them to watch. And poor Gavin has now finally admitted defeat. All his hopes, all his dreams have disappeared because of that injury. And he can only stand and watch like the rest of us as Kevin sails on to a place in the quarterfinal. But he's doing it for both of them now. There's a great camaraderie between these contenders. And he will want to finish this in style. The final stretch for Kevin. Just the travelator between him and a place in the quarterfinals. And he takes it head on and in his stride. It's victory for Kevin. But it must be a hollow victory. It's not the way he would have wanted to win and not the way Gavin's dream was supposed to end. Come on over here. Come on, Kevin. Listen, at the end of the day, you've got to say, um, your man, uh, Gavin, he had to pull out his knee, obviously didn't go, but you had to do the thing, what you had to do, and that was win. You know, how do you feel about that? Gav, I'm so sorry, mate. Uh, I never wanted it to uh, be like that, mate. Um, you got a heart of gold, buddy. Uh, you're a good man, and uh, respect to you. What was going through your mind up there, just as the whistle was being blown? Agony. Agony for my fans, my friends. Agony for my little girl, Ellie. You know, it's hard. You've waited 16 years for this. It must be bitterly disappointing. Yeah, I think anything's disappointing. You know, you come out here, you come out here to win. I weren't, I weren't here to play games. I was here to beat Kevin. He done it, he finished. He's the man. Man up, Kev. Hold it tight. Give it large in the quarterfinals. Um, I want to dedicate tonight to my granddad. It would have been his birthday today. Um, I know he's been looking out over me. And uh, yeah, love you, granddad. Nice one, Kev. What a fantastic night it's been. Well done to all of our contenders. They might be sore and sweaty, but they should be very proud. There'll be four more fresh faced contenders back next week, all hoping to get to grips with our gladiators. We'll see you then. Good night. Next time on Gladiators, tempers flare. Oh, I'm here to be a winner as well. Records are set. 60 points! And the competition gets even tougher. Wow, what an eliminator. I wasn't expecting that. Get to sky.com slash gladiators to see gladiator legends Hunter and Jet interviewing the new generation. Plus, there's a chance to win a Nintendo Wii.
Next tonight on Sky One, we all love a sing-song, but are you brave enough to do it on telly? Shane Ritchie is giving away money to people who are, as long as they don't forget the lyrics.